I thought I for- <laughs> <laughs> fucking amped, dude. Oh, what's up, everybody? We drinking that Jocko Discipline Go, dude. How is it? I'm fucking pumped up, dude. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I feel really bad. I think so, bro. I don't know. I feel fucking <laughs> weird, dude. I feel weird, man. I slept like shit last night, too. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna I told you I was sleep gonna like drink shit mine. tonight. You're not I, drinking this? Dude, dude, you better fucking drink yours. Oh, fuck. I'll open it up dude, right now. I'm fucking serious. I'll be pissed. You gotta do that tight little fucking. Tight, like a little toy. As tight as a little toy. All right. Mmm. Mmm. It's not bad. Tastes like shit. Tastes like some of grandpa's fucking old cough medicine, dude. <sighs> Hold on, let me get another sip of that shit. Grandpa's <sighs> watching this like I don't believe I ever had any cough medicine. I think it's good. I think it's good. No, it is. Dude, so, I feel lightheaded, bro. Jaco, dude, discipline go. Why the fuck would you give me that? This I'm is like, a hey, bro, it's not an energy drink, force right? Multiply. I'm like, hey, bro, it's not an energy drink, right? He's like, no, dude, you're good. It doesn't say anything about energy on the bottle. I'm like, sweet, man. I slept like shit last night, so I really don't want to fucking energy drink, you know, right before <laughs> I fucking like get done with this podcast night. and fucking go to fucking sleep. He's like, no, you're good, bro. Says it's just a fucking. Uh, uh, physical cognitive force multiplier. I'm like, cool, whatever that means. Crack it open halfway through it. Right down here on the bottom. Energy supplement. I'm like... <laughs> as I fucking hear my hair fucking growing. Dude, it says it's got 95 milligrams of caffeine. That's not jack shit. I know. I think it's my... What is that? What's that called? Or you make yourself... What's that the called? The placebo effect. Is that the placebo? You're giving yourself the... What? Is that placebo? Yeah, where you think that something's making you do something that's, that's really not... I don't think that's placebo. It is. So oh, it is. The huh? placebo effect is when you think that something's actually working when it's really I'm not. I'm thinking of the Carbonaro effect, that magic guy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that fucking jackass? Oh, my God, dude. Dude, what happened to him? Uh, I, everybody, everybody realized he was a fucking everybody phony. Everybody realized he was a sham. Everybody realized he was a fucking fuckhead that fucking robbed people of their, <laughs> of their dignity. Young kids, d- deprived young kids of their fucking well fucking being. Holy fuck, Piece dude. of shit. Tell us how you really feel. Dude, there's a new show on uh, Netflix. Uh-huh. Well, newer. I feel like I'm really um, high right now. I watched it. Me and, me and Chad watched it one time when you were in, uh, I think when you went to California. It's probably one of the times I was trying to get the world to end. Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. When you were, yeah, when you were over fucking causing world hunger, we were watching a fucking magician show. It's pretty good, actually. It's not a magician. Uh, well, he's a magician. Is I it think. on Netflix? Yeah, everything's on Netflix. Yeah, have you seen? Have you seen it? No. Yeah, he's not a magician. Dude, we're both wearing a Star Wars hat. I just realized that. I can't see what happened. Um, happened. see, trying to look at your own fucking hat from your own fucking head. It's this fucking Jocko shit. Um, he's a he's a magician, but he um, what's the what is the word? What is your <laughs> secret? What's the word I'm, I'm the- trying to think of? He like fucking. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, dude. I gotta. I gotta look at what this. What this guy's name is actually. So no, I'm not gonna fucking screen record it, guys, because I'm just looking something up real quick. Okay, so wait a minute. So you're saying that this guy is a magician, but he's not a magician. No, he is ma- magic show. Hold on, magic show. He's like a street performer. On uh, no, 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 no. Nice. Is he just do like a flex? Uh, <laughs> Ryan Joyce, I think that's him. No, magic yeah, magic, for magic for humans. This is the guy right here. This, he's definitely a magician, then. Yeah, so magic for humans. It's good, dude. But he like, he like, kind of fucking manipulates people's brains almost in a way, like kind of warps what you what you're thinking, isn't and that that's kind of how he does his magic. Isn't that what magic is? No, 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 no. Like he, it's it's hard to explain, bro. You gotta watch it. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Death by magic. I've watched that. It's kind of cheesy. Yeah, I can the see guy that. tries to like reenact. He tries to do like old, old fucking like like magic moves, like Harry from Houdini way back shit. in the day. Did huh? he die? The Harry, no, he didn't die. Who? Houdini. Houdini. Yeah, he Houdini. didn't die during a show. He died from uh, what you would call it? He had a ruptured appendix. Yes. But uh, it's pretty good, dude. You check it Houdini's out. Houdini's the one that used to fucking let people punch him in the stomach, right? Yeah, as and, hard as and they could. They actually fucked him up all over the, time. 
you, that's what they say, but like your I, fucking I appendix believe it, ruptured. dude. Dude, appendix ruptured. And they dude, you're getting fucking socked in your fucking stomach as hard as you can. Dude, that was like in like the fucking 20s, what dude. What do you expect to happen? I didn't even know what an appendix was. What do you expect to happen, dude? They probably, true. yeah, it probably wasn't his appendix. It was probably something else fucking bursted. His shit fucking pocket <laughs> bursted inside of him. You think he just like, maybe he just got old and then like his abs just weren't as strong as he thought they used to be? He said, like, come on up here, Sonny. <laughs> Punch me in the stomach. Well, they said he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> they said what happened was is he wasn't feeling good or something, right? And then he uh, he did it. No, so one of the kids came up and he wanted to do it, I think, but he wasn't prepared for it. So when the kid punched him, he, he wasn't flexed. Oh, so the kid fucking killed him. So the kid killed him pretty much. Oh, did yes. he go to prison? No, of course dude. he didn't. Motherfucker, should have gave him the chair. Because back then, you know what? Couldn't prove it. You should have gave him the, prove it. Should have gave him the fucking chair, dude. Kill Houdini, you piece of shit. All right, well, now I love that magic. Holden's got the fucking placebo effect going on over here. The carbonaro effect. <laughs> uh, I was that guy on True TV. Anything on True TV was a fucking <laughs> sham, dude. True TV is the biggest fucking joke there is, man. Like oh, Jesus Christ, like that that fucking that 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 TV network is like the biggest fucking joke. <laughs> what's the that ever happened? What's that one fucking show where it's like, is it paranormal caught on camera or something like that? <laughs> Which one? The one where like they, it's just like all these like random people that send in their videos and they put it up and then they try and debunk whether it's real or not. Oh but, yeah, yeah, some yeah. of them yeah. are like the most like absurd thing ever. Like you can see like pretty much like somebody fucking ripping the cabinets open with a cord. Uh huh. Dude, that shows such bullshit. The new one. What? Which new one? Are you talking about the new one? Like there's because there's, there's like a new thing like that. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like paranormal caught on camera or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's all I know. Some of them are good. We've seen. We we. I was watching one the other day, and this dude actually had some pretty fucking good evidence. Like this chair flew at him. He was getting ready to eat. I saw that one. Okay, that was I saw good, that one. dude. That was solid, man. That he, guy was actually fucking scared. But he like that's so. <sighs> There's some hit or misses he, on there though. He he. It was either like legit as fuck. It looked really legit. Yeah. Or that guy deserves an Academy Award. I don't know. I think that I think that you can see true fear. Mm-hmm. And some of them, the ones that, that's the ones that really irritate me is the ones where you can tell like they're totally fucking faking it. Yeah. And that's the shit. Or like you could tell like the guy like fucking pulled his sweatpants up over his shoulders and did like the two leg thing, walked through his driveway. Uh-huh. I don't know. That guy was pretty solid though, man. Miss me with that. Well, he looked like he worked out. That's for sure. He was solid. He, he looked <laughs> handsome. He was handsome. I think he had like the Marine tattoo right here. I think he was bald. Was that the Marine tattoo? That's why he had a hat on. Okay. So he can't be handsome and bald. I don't know. You think that. It's uh, fucked up. Yeah, that's true. I guess if I ever start balding. That's fucked. Why would you say that? I think he was bald. He can't be handsome and bald. Well, he could be handsome and balding, but usually. Our guitar balding. player's bald. He's handsome. Yeah, they wear a hat all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look handsome and they take their hat off and they look like a fucking etching sketch. Yeah, not an etching your- sketch. What was it the Wooly Willies? Dude, you have your phone on your freaking on your piece of phone. <laughs> Dude, it's the guitarist just Texas that we're talking about right no now. No way. I swear to God. <laughs> what the fuck, Rob? It Anyways. Updated. Oh, dude. What? It updated. What did? The fucking the Vader we pre-ordered for December. Mm-hmm. It's coming out August 5th now. August 5th? Yeah, Oh, bro. shit. Fuck New Black yeah. Series coming out, folks. Hey, if you guys are Star Wars collectors out there, I'd get on over to... Uh, we got them on Amazon, right? They're doing a yes. carbonized... If you if you collect toys, you know what this means. If you know what the carbonized Black Series is. nerdy here for a second. The carbonized Black Series, Darth Vader is coming out. And this thing is fucking sick. I love it. Dude, love yeah. August 5th, man. There it is. Oh, dude. Nice. The date updated. August is going to be dangerous, man. I'm fucking nervous dude, for August. I'm going to be broke in August. I, <laughs> I'm going to be fucking broke through I've August, been saving, like, August into September, man. I'm going to be broke. They're doing so many fucking Lego releases there. Dude, you're really getting into that fucking Jocko fuel well, right dude, there, Dude, what the fuck you want me to do? You, you made me drink it. <laughs> You fucking got it out for me. You asked. You said, are we going to try him tonight? No, I did not. Dude. No, I did not. <laughs> okay. You're like, hey, bro, I'm going to get some Jocko fuel. Jocko discipline. I'm like, all right, bro, I was what talking is it? about the pills, man. Cog- I'm not taking the pills. You said you couldn't stop talking the other day. Yeah, that sounds like something I want. Fucking my poor, keep my poor wife up all night <laughs> just, talking. You're just talking about your Star Wars theories and what actually happened to Luke when he was away from the fucking sequels. Talking about what I think really happened in Order 66. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, babe, has anyone ever told you the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> Let's sit down for a little chat. 
<laughs> you really know five to... hours later <laughs> you're like and anyways i think that's uh i think that's where ray came from she's like <laughs> <laughs> who are you <laughs> All right, good night, babe. <laughs> Lay down for like five minutes. My alarm goes off for work. I love when you get, oh, I love when you dude. put like, you put three Star Wars guys in one room, right? Yeah. And uh, put three Star Wars guys in one Star Wars theory, mm-hmm. and you could start a fucking two hour conversation easily. It, it's ridiculous. Easily. And then it, it's gonna, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a debate, and it's gonna end up in an argument. But yeah. you guys are gonna kind of agree when it's all over. Like, yeah, so, like, I can't see that happening. Star Wars guys are like the weirdest fucking fan fanboys ever, dude. Yeah. Girls too. Sorry. All the women out there. Like, girls can like Star Wars too. I like I, it. I, I watched that show. That. I get that. You I like watched Star Wars. the last movie that fucking came out with my boyfriend. I watched them all. I like Ray and uh what's and his name? That little ball. I like that guy. It's like, yeah, well, do you see any of the other ones? You, do you fucking like any of the other characters? Oh, I almost said the C word. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> tell tell me one fucking give me your favorite clone trooper, you bitch. But no, you could fucking and like Star Wars guys are so weird. They 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 all like they they all have like the one that they like, and then that's it. So they got their three movies, and all the rest of them are shit. Yeah. So they either like the three new ones, they like the three old ones, or they like the 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 three uh from like the nineties. The uh the what are they called? The the main trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. The prequels. The original trilogy. Yeah. So it's like they they prequels, they, sequ- sequels, and original trilogy. Yeah, so you can't ever, like, nobody can ever agree on anything. And then they all got to give you... And then, of course, you have the cartoons, too, man. You got Rebels, you have Clone Wars, Resistance. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mandalorian. Nobody could ever just keep on the fucking trilogies. Yeah. Fuck. Talking about tri- <laughs> talk, talking about the trilogies. Dude, I, I, th- I don't know if it's because it was my it, my my era. Uh-huh. The, the fucking, the prequels, dude. I, I like love the prequels. The prequels I love fun. the fucking prequels, dude. And I just, I love the Clone War era. Yeah. I love that shit, man. Like, dude, it, that was my favorite, my fucking favorite portion of it. I think it is all. But I also love the original trilogy too. I think it is all uh, like, when, like for your era, your age. Yeah. Um, maybe I don't know. I think because I was born just before them. Like, I was still young when they came out. Yeah. But when they came out, like I was like every other fuck out there right now. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna watch them because I only like the original. Yeah. You know, I was see, like, see, fucking, and, I, and, and I'm glad I'm, I didn't, I wasn't like that because I'm able to love all fucking Star yeah. Wars now. I don't have any dis, distaste you, towards any of them. Any of them. Luck, you were lucky and fortunate though, because you got, I got you into Star Wars. I guess you could say at a later age, yeah. in life. So you were able to come into it with an open mind, yeah. more so than anything. Yeah. Um, I know that you're saying that you like those because those are the ones that you remember from time you were little. Those are like probably the first ones you watched. Yeah. But when you actually got big into Star Wars, it was just what a few years ago. Mm-hmm. So you were old enough to to watch them all with an open mind. Yeah. And you weren't really able to pick any of which one was better, or which one's out of place, yeah. or which one's wrong, or which one's right. Yeah. And that's also probably why you like the cartoons and stuff so much too. Because for me, do you finish the Clone Wars? No, I'm not as big of a fan. Of, I have a hard time watching the cartoons, dude. Like I love them. Fuck. Don't get me wrong, they're really cool, but I have I have a hard time with them sometimes. I don't know. It's I don't amazing, know. dude. I, amazing. I, I think I just have to be in the right mindset. That's the problem with me when I watch like the cartoons and stuff like that. It, I, I have to be in the right mindset to sit down and watch a cartoon. Dude. Same thing with like anime or anything like that. You gotta watch you gotta watch Clone Wars, man. I know. You gotta watch the last season at least, man. No, I get it. I get then it. You, I'm a then you'll actually see where the bad batch is and dude, why that's why that series is gonna be so yeah. fucking sick, dude. I get it, dude. I'm a piece of shit. Just say it. No, you're not a piece of shit. <laughs> like I have all the Lego sets, I have all the toys, I have everything like that, but I haven't actually. You don't even know really what it's about. Officially sat down and like watched them all. I think I've only made it like the first like Jeez, three or four Louise, seasons. Papa cheese. And I still haven't watched the movie, which is I guess the movie's Clone in, Wars movie. Uh, what do they call it? It's in a uh, what uh, whatever order the uh, chronological chronological order. order. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I struggle too, because I wanted to sit down, I want to fucking put it on, and I want to just let it play. Yeah, but then everybody's like, "Oh, you can't watch it that way. You have to watch it in the chronological." I mean, you can. Order. You can. It's not. It's not gonna kill you. You could just put it on and fucking watch it. But and I think that's kind of what's actually like, uh, almost like steered me away from watching it a little bit too, is mm. because everybody's so strict on how you have to watch it. Yeah, and I'm like, just let me watch the fucking movies. Yeah, you're fine. It's like people come in all the time and they're like, um, so I'm thinking about getting into Star Wars. I'm like, okay, well, for one. I'm thinking about getting into Star Wars. It's not like a fucking pair of sneakers, okay? You can't you just start collecting Either Yeezys. you like it or you don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess it's like us. I think I'm going to start watching a sport. 
But then again, I'm just fucking sounding like an idiot because I'm yeah. never actually going to watch sports anyway. So that's why I don't believe these guys. And they say they're thinking about getting into Star Wars. Yeah. And they're like, well, what, what order should I watch the movies in? I'm like, well, just fucking watch the movies. Just watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking start from episode one. Like they, they, they're they clearly labeled episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and then they, they always come in with the, well, I heard there's like a really old one that came out first. <laughs> It's like, yeah. okay, yes, it was. It came out first, but it's in the middle of the fucking trilogy, so just don't even worry and about it. And then people that watch them by the year, they're like, they're, they'll be like sitting there, like there was one guy that we worked with, and they'd be like, uh, oh, I watched Star Wars. I'm like, yeah, they're like, well, what happened to Luke? Why isn't he in the in the ones from the 90s? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, well, I watched them in order, you know, like the, the order that they came out, and he's not he's not where he's supposed to be. And I'm like, okay, you good? Mm, no. Not good. Camera era? Yeah. What the fuck? Hold on, folks. We're having a difficulty here real quick. We good? It, it, it might have disconnected from your phone. Maybe. Yeah, <coughs> should be all right. I guess if it goes out again, we'll fucking see. <laughs> but anyways, the guy was like, he's like, uh... <coughs> He's like, so I don't understand. He's like, what happened to Luke? And I'm like, well, it's you're not watching them in actual fucking sequence. You're watching them from the years they were made. Yeah. It's like when, when they started the movies, they started off in the middle. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to watch them that way, it's fine. But don't, you get, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. That was pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a fucking Star Wars nerd and I'm just making fun of everybody that doesn't know anything about it. But uh, no. I feel like a fuck. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I think I think it depends on how deep you want to dive into Star Wars. If you want to just skim the top of it, yeah. Watch the watch the watch all the movies. If you want to just fucking get a little taste of it, watch the movies, dude. But George Lucas was a fucking genius, man. And that 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 Star Wars is so in fucking depth, dude. Like you could read the comic books, you could re- watch the cartoons, you could read the books, mm-hmm. all that shit, man. <laughs> And it'll just take you on a whole nother fucking like level of, of, of getting into the story and the meaning of the story. You know what I mean? There's so many characters in the fucking, in the Star Wars universe. That's if you were to get into, if you wanted to get in, like if you actually understand it and you actually do get into it, then it's, it's probably like one of the most in-depth like stories I've ever heard of. Yeah. Like it, hundred percent, not just like George Lucas, is a mastermind of what he does and like what he started is insane. But just like the stuff that, you know, the EU or the EU yeah. uh, extended universe, unless you don't know what that means, um, is basically like the stuff that, pardon me, other people have come in and like they started extending and adding onto the stories. That's what EU stands for. Yeah. So the, the story never ends. It, it never ends and it's impossible to end. That's why when what's your name? Fucking. Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy. Kennedy was like, oh, you guys understand how hard it is. Like, you know, you can't just pull a story out of nowhere. Uh, no, you yeah. fucking can because yeah. there's thousands of stories yeah. out there. And George Lucas gave every character a fucking backstory. Yeah. Every character can fucking have its own movie. Mm-hmm. It can have its own show. Yeah. It's God, fuck. See, Star Wars, Every man. single character, dude. And then there's the Mandalorians <laughs> alone. Dude. Yeah. That could be like that. The Mandalorians could literally have an entire fucking. They could have nine movies on I just the Mandalorians. Fully agree. One hundred percent. It's 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 crazy, man. It really is crazy. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it depends on people ask if they, they want to get into Star Wars. I'm like, how deep do you want to go into it? You know what I mean? Because really? you could fucking dive in deep. The fucking park, dude. Galaxy's Edge has something to do with the story. Yeah, everything like, they there's do. There's fucking comic books about Galaxy's Edge. Yep. Doc Ondars is a fucking actual fucking place in in the Star Wars universe and you can actually go fucking visit it man like it's it's crazy dude. That's like that brings me to another thing too cuz a lot of people say that Disney ruined Star Wars. I think that is the biggest load of shit. Yeah. Like that is your fucking feelings are hurt. Yeah. You're probably part of the cancel culture. Mm-hmm. You're just get the fuck out of here with your bullshit already mm-hmm. cuz I think that what Disney has done for Star Wars. Oh, it's amazing dude. They restored Everybody's interest in Star Wars yeah. again yeah. when nobody cared about Star Wars anymore. Yeah. You know, the, the, then you have all these. It's mainly the old. It's really weird, too, because it's not just the older guys, but the older generation acts like, you know, the new ones. There's like a certain small group of guys from the original ones that don't want to fucking watch anything else. Mm-hmm. But then they still go and buy all the fucking toys for some reason. Mm-hmm. Or they still show up to the showings just so they can go and talk shit talk about shit it. Talk shit about it. Yeah. But then again, it. it 
like I say with everything these days, everything is bad publicity sells. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's why all that that stuff gets pushed so much. But yeah, like when uh, it was uh, the Rise of Skywalker came out, yeah, dude, yeah. there was so much bad shit on that, and that's oh like God. hands down one of the best Star Wars movies Amazing. ever made. Amazing, dude. Amazing. Just the story behind it. it's just incredible. The way they, they killed Princess Leia, the way they. All that stuff, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, it was so fucking perfect. Spoiler and- alert. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some guys all, <gasps> she died? Been waiting to see it. <gasps> I was just waiting for the, you know those guys too. Got posters of her all over his house. You know people like that too that are like, oh, I'm just waiting for the hype to die. Uh-huh. It's like, motherfucker, you missed it by like three well, years. guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> Leia's gone. Remember we had Rest that- in peace to the princess. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, I don't know. Star Wars. If you guys want to watch Star Wars, if you're not a Star Wars fan, I highly, highly recommend getting into it. Yeah. If you're going to get into it, though, get into it with your whole family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it has to be a family thing. Uh-huh. And if you're going to get into collecting, uh, it's like, make sure your wife's on board. It's like my, it, it, yeah, no <laughs> shit. It's like my wife. Like she was, uh-huh. she was never really a big Star Wars fan. Like, she liked it, but she wasn't, like, a fucking huge Star Wars fan. She knew of it. She knew of it, yeah. exactly. And then we got together, and then, I, you know, I'm, like, we're, we're all Star Wars fans. And then the more and more I collected and watched it and stuff like that, she fucking, she loves it now. She's a ma- massive Star Wars fan, you know yep. what I mean? She's a she's more, you know, Harry Potter, and she grew up watching Star Trek with her dad and stuff like that. And I was always more of a Harry Pothead fan. <laughs> Harry Pothead, huh? <laughs> but no, my wife did the same thing. She didn't really care about any. I don't. She didn't really know anything. She'd never even seen the movies, honestly. I think until she she met me, and I was a big Star Wars fan as a kid. And then I got out of I got out of collecting a lot. The older I got, <clears throat> music kind of took over, and that's where all my money went and stuff. And then as I got old enough and stable enough, I started collecting again. And mm-hmm. that's when. Uh, it was actually Vegas that just restored it for us. Like we moved out here, they did that. The hotels out here do like uh, marathons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when we really, f- yeah, died back in, like died back in five years ago, probably. Yeah, about five years ago, we it we went to the marathon for for Star Wars. Yeah, it was like free May tickets. 4th. Yeah, free tickets for May fourth, and like it was like show up, get your thing. You know, you got vouchers and stuff. And we went down and watched it, and they played fucking, every single movie. We got there what like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they played every single movie. And, coming, and then there was only what eight or seven? There seven, was only seven. The seventh yeah. just came out, yeah. So that happened, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like this is like, I felt like a little kid again. Like I wanted to go buy all the toys. I wanted to go buy the Lego sets, mm-hmm. and then it just fucking spun out of control. Dude. Now I have closets and closets full of fucking shit. I don't want. I don't even <clears throat> want to know how much I have into my collection. <laughs> I could probably retire on what I got. You know. You know, dude. dude actually, today, Danny, my wife. Um, she took out her side of the closet because we have two closets, right? Yeah. And like my side and her side, she freaking cleaned out her side today while I was at work because uh-huh. like my Star Wars shit's fucking stacked, dude, in my closet. Like I, I started taking out clothes because I couldn't, I didn't have yeah. any more room. Right. Well, you got to get what's important in there. Clothes are not important. Exactly. So it was just fucking stacking, dude. Like ridiculous amounts. Every time I went to go to Target, I come back with something. A fucking little figure doesn't matter what the fuck it is. I come back with something. Yeah. So she took out her entire side of the closet and combined it with mine uh-huh. and put all my Star Wars stuff in her side of the closet. Dude, it's actually pretty sick. Nice. So now she's going to allow me to uh, build like shelving in there and stuff. And I can like display my hilts whenever I get more hilts. Go nice. back to Disneyland, get my fucking uh, Ahsoka hilts. Hey, Disneyland, shout out. <sighs> Open shout up. out, Ahsoka, shout out. Um, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I was excited, dude. That was a pleasant surprise when I came home from work. I think that when, uh, Disneyland opens. I'm kind of excited because like this whole entire fucking lockdown thing has everything shut down, and Disney is taking advantage of this like you cannot fucking yeah. believe. Yeah, I think that the park's gonna be insane. I think that we're gonna have all the new series out. There's so many rumors going on right now for the new series we're gonna get for like Mando? you know, all well, Mandalorian. Then you have they want to do like uh the like the old Republic stuff. They yeah. want to do all kinds of like just cool stuff like that. You yeah. know, um, and I think that uh. All those side stories and stuff like that is really going to fucking just, yeah. it, it's going to be insane when we you have, go back have, to uh, Disneyland. We have Kenobi coming out. Um, like the hilts. We collect Star Wars, like the actual lightsaber hilts. And 
Disneyland has like probably some of my favorites. They're the most. They're most so uh, realistic. Yeah, most so fucking realistic. Realistic to the movies for replicas. So realistic, dude. These so I was I've been looking at the Ahsoka sabers. Oh my god, dude, dude, and they have the white blades, dude. After she got out of the Jedi Order. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <clears throat> so fucking dude. So sexy. Those those sabers are fucking so sexy, man. I was actually looking at Asajj Ventress. This guy had him on eBay. Uh huh. He had both of her sabers from Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, dude, brand new in the fucking cases, right? Two of them, and he he was asking like two fourteen. I'm like, I'm like, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, babe, 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 check this out. She's like, what? I'm like two fourteen. She's like, no way. I'm like two fourteen. She's like. Babe, are you sure? I'm like, babe, right there. I'm like, look, look. Not bad. Not bad, right? <laughs> She's like, message him on it. Shoot the guy a message. I'm like, is this for both sabers? And is there blades included? Uh-huh. He's like, no, that's a piece. So I was going to be paying like over $400 <laughs> for fucking two lightsabers. I, I backed out. I, I, backed I was out. bidding on a, one of the Yoda sabers one time. One of the oh my b- God, uh, force dude. effects. Those are like four or $500. Dude. And I was like, <sighs> that Shido hilt. You know how like sometimes you get like really ballsy on eBay mm-hmm. and you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to bid. Yeah. I'm going to fucking bid. Yeah. So I bid like, five, I think it was like $400. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, fuck, like dude, 400 bucks. You got to have it. You know, this, Yoda that. Hilt, bro. Oh, dude, it got fucking down to like to the God last, damn it. it got down to the last 30 minutes, bro. And I was the highest bidder. And at this point, I was shit in fucking bricks. How much was it? I did not want to pay $400 for this lightsaber. Holy shit, dude. Those are hard to fucking find, though, bro. I know, but it was like one of those things where I was like, just like fucking like. I was Please like, pass I, me. You know, you get on eBay sometimes. You just start bidding on you shit. You think you're fucking shitting on tall cotton. Yeah. Like you, nothing could stop you. Like I just got fucking stacks. Yeah. Like, I'll just cut a fucking <laughs> hole in my mattress and pull out that money real quick. Dude, I actually. What, okay, hold on. I have a story, but finish, finish, finish. What happened? Oh, luckily, you got outbid? I got outbid. Thank God. <laughs> I was pacing my fucking cell phone, like, please outbid me, please. And it was like the last like 15 minutes, some guy bid and the saber ended up selling for like $550, oh, but fuck that's steep, dude. Yeah. That is so fucking steep, man. Um, it's just a mild heart attack. Um, <laughs> I, I, the, the wife's been wanting the fucking, the Saturn V, uh-huh. which, which you, which you are, right. Is that the Saturn V? Oh, the Lego set. Yeah. Yeah. The Saturn V, the fucking rocket, the NASA rocket. And uh, she's been wanting it, and it's discontinued from Lego. It's retired, and she's been wanting it so bad. And I'm like, I'll check on eBay for you, baby, you know? So I've been keeping an eye out for her. I don't know, dude. I was taking a shit the other day, and I'm like on eBay, <laughs> <laughs> like feeling all Oasis fucking. Oasis bidet, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like feeling all badass, dude. I'm like looking at Saturn V. I'm like, all right. I'm like 200, not bad. 250. Not bad. The guy's like two fifty your best offer. Two fifty with shipping. So it was fifty bucks for shipping. Yeah. I'm like, that's not bad. Offered the guy one fifty. Wait for his response. Put my offer in. It was gonna be like two hundred all said and done. I'm like, walk out, I'm like, baby. She's like, What's up? I'm like, just put in an offer for you. She's like, For what? I'm like Saturn V. She's like, Babe, those are really expensive. I'm like, baby. We'll see if he accepts it. We'll see if he accepts it. They are shitting bricks today, dude. I'm like, oh, fuck. I hope he doesn't. Like, I, my mind cleared. I went to sleep. I woke yeah. up. I was yeah. refreshed. I was like, fuck. Why did I do that? I'm going to have to pay $200 for a fucking Lego set. Luckily, he had let it expire, so I didn't have to pay eBay's eBay's kind of like a fucking drunken hookup. Dude. Like, she's super fucking hot when dude. you're drunk, and then you wake up the next morning. I hate like, eBay, man. the fuck did I do? I hate, hate eBay, I bro. I love it. I love it, dude. God. God, I fucking hate eBay. I was like, what the fuck did I do? Why did I do that? Why, why was I willing to pay? Dude, right on the spot, bro. I, I got, was willing to pay 200 bucks. I got a pretty cool piece coming for this podcast studio. Uh, that, oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll show you guys when it gets in. Uh, but it was kind it's of one of those. Surprise. It was kind of one of those fucking deals. And I was like, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm just going to offer. And the guy ended up accepting that's, my offer. That's worth it, though, dude. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. That's worth it, man. The <clears throat> same thing kind of happened with my autographed uh, fucking Dave Prowse picture back fucking there. Fucking Prowse. I'm glad I got that, though. He, yeah. I get, he retired his signature, so you can't get it anymore. So yeah, it was worth you're it. lucky, dude. That thing's going to be worth some fucking serious money eventually. Dude, I, I mean, I, I was balls deep in the uh, in the C-3PO book. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Daniels book. Fuck, dude. That is How a is that? good fucking book, man. Very good book. 
really, really takes you in depth. I was waiting. I was I was expecting it to be like the the typical fucking you know, Star Wars. You know, like in the galaxy type book. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I was prepared for that. Like like to take you on this journey. But no, man. He he actually like walks you through, like his start of of becoming C three PO and meeting George Lucas for the first time and like how shitty it was like actually filming yeah you know a new hope it's fucking really cool man i i highly recommend everybody if you're if you're a star wars fan get fucking anthony daniels book i am c3po hey it's anthony a fucking, daniels if you want to come hey, on the podcast shout out <laughs> dude i would fucking shit myself if fucking anthony daniels wanted to come on here man he listens to like our first like six episodes. He's like, fuck this <laughs> podcast. Fuck this fucking shit. What the fuck I want to go on there for? This guy sent me a fucking email. <laughs> We're like, hey man, would you want to maybe come down from London? Like, I know you live in London, but like, would you maybe want to come down and like hang out with us? We fucking. We <laughs> fucking. <laughs> we fucking get like a voice clip back from his like. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> like okay anthony daniels at least we got a response <laughs> but no dude the the c3po book is fucking really cool man like he said uh he was actually a mime a mime he was actually, oh, I'm a mime. <laughs> oh, I'm a mime. <laughs> he was actually a mime okay so he went to school to to be a mime uh-huh. and he went to school for theater and he said that was that, that actually he, kind of explains how he walks exactly uh, and so he said he went to school for theater and to be a mime. And he said it took him like, I think it took him like two years or some shit, like three years. He was in schooling for it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he said that he was, you know, like going around, I can't really remember the beginning of the book, but he said he was like going around, like doing like theater and shit like that. And he said he was like, just like various different shows and stuff like that. And, uh, he said somebody, I think somebody that he worked with in theater was like, Hey man, I got a, I got a, you know, a gig for you. And you, you, you know, you have to go down. It's for Fox. Like it's a, it's a, it's a movie. Yeah. And he said he wasn't really doing many movies. He did 2001, a space odyssey. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie. uh He did the voicing of the robot, the robot in that movie and, uh, the like rogue robot or whatever the fuck. And, uh, he said that he hadn't really done too much. He said that that was like voice acting. So he said it wasn't, it was easy. Yeah. And, uh, he said he was like, I hadn't actually acted in anything other than theater. <clears throat> so he said somebody was like, Hey, I, you know, there's this gig, you know, I don't know if you want to, you know, maybe try out for it. You know, this is the place, go down there, you know, check it out, yeah. see what you think. Uh-huh. And he said he went in and he said it was Fox. He said the building said Fox. And he was like, Holy crap, like this is a big deal, you know. He said he went in and he said the, he said there was a, a secretary and he said she was, she was sitting, sitting in the front desk and she was like, Are you such and such, Anthony Daniels, blah, blah, blah. He's like, Yeah, I'm here for, the, you know, the, the, an interview. And he said he was expecting some fucking fat dude in his suit to be sitting there counting his money. And he said he walked in and it was George Lucas sitting there in his blue jeans and fucking plaid shirt. Oh, shit. Fucking signature, signature blue jeans, plaid shirt. And he said uh, he said it was awkward. He said it was probably the most awkward thing he ever done. He said he was really, really a, a really shy person. Anthony Daniels and George Lucas is a really shy person. Yeah. So he said they didn't really ex- exchange very many words. And he said the wall behind George Lucas, floor to floor to ceiling, he said was sketches of a new hope. Oh shit. Okay. And he said it was the he said he was like, What the like what is this? Like what is yeah. this behind you? And he said, This is the movie, you know, we want to cast you for. Yeah. And he was like, Here's the here's the characters, Darth Vader, Han Solo, you know, fucking uh Luke, everybody. He's like, here's all these various char- characters you could you could audition for. And he goes, he goes, I looked up, he goes, and right behind him, he said, there was a big sketch of C-3PO and R2-D2. Yeah. He said, and I was like, who's that? And he said, oh, that's my character, C-3PO. And he's like, I want to be him. And he's like, hold on, hold on. He's like, we got a bunch of characters here for you. And he's like, no, he's like, I need to be him. Yeah. And he was like, okay. He's like, then we'll go ahead and get you fitted next week for the for the costume. Oh, shit. Yeah, and that's he, pretty cool. And he said he went down and he got fitted. He said they fucking they wrapped him in kitchen like kitchen paper. <laughs> yeah, and they were fucking. He said like it took, parchment paper. Yeah, like parchment paper. And he said it took like fucking nine hours or some shit like that. And they Jesus. actually slapped plaster on him and they fucking plastered his whole body. 
and he said it. He said it was the most uncomfortable thing of his life. And he said he had to wait for the the cement to to mold. Yeah, and yeah. he said it was like hot. He said it would like burn his skin. And he said it was the most excruciating thing of his life. That's how the porn stars get their buttholes molded. No shit. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna Google that one later <laughs> on. But no, dude, I'm I'm gonna tell you the whole book if I don't if I don't stop. But it's a really fucking cool book, dude. It's a really really cool book. Like he has pictures in there, like black and white behind the scenes pictures of like of Fisher and fucking Harrison and stuff, dude, that like, that's just gotta like be choke me up, dude. <laughs> it really, yeah, I guess the Star Wars means that much. To, it means that much to us that we get choked up about that shit. But yeah, like first time building a lightsaber and oh, galaxy's God, edge, like I fucking cried. It's yeah. just, ah, fuck. Well, for the last like fucking eight listeners that are still listening to us after a 35 <laughs> like, minute okay. Star Wars rant. <laughs> I think I know a few that are. <laughs> the bad thing is, is I think I know who's listening. <laughs> Fuck, dude, we're gonna have like fucking like I know like a handful. I can count them both. I'm both of my hands. They're the other ones right now. Like, yeah, and have to, they, uh-huh. no, no, no. Tell me more. Uh-huh. Tell me more. <laughs> Black and white photos. The bad thing is, is I think I know who they might be. Oh Jesus my god, dude. Christ. And if I'm wrong, if it's other people, hey, thank you, appreciate it. Glad you like Star Wars as much as us. Well, instead of just sending emails talking shit, why don't you guys send us emails and tell us your favorite episode of Star Wars and why? We would favorite, love to hear that. Favorite movie and favorite character. Let's hear it. Let's hear your favorite character. But uh, God damn it, dude. Fucking Christ. The fucking Star Wars. See what happens. Dude. Damn. I need to give you this fucking Jocko feel more often, bro. I know, dude. I could go <laughs> on, dude. The book is fucking good, dude. I was like, wow, man. Wow. It's amazing, dude. It's amazing. You're reading this fucking cool shit. I'm over here reading Ben Shapiro's new book on how to destroy America. I got to read that, steps. dude. The other guy's fucking crazy, dude. Ben Shapiro's a nut. I'm I like, love Ben Shapiro. Let, let's shift gears a little bit. <laughs> Put my nerd cap away. Pull the wings while I'm like, whoa, hey, oh. <laughs> I can say anything right now. Like, you're a tool with a microphone. Uh huh. Hey, speaking of Wayne's World, we got a little, got a little Garth. Little go pop here. We got a Wayne and we got a Garth. This has Wayne. We got a little some somebody Wayne. got us a got us a gift for the podcast studio. It's pretty awesome. Um but yeah, dude, the new the new Ben Shapiro book, uh, How to Destroy America in Three Easy Steps, is actually a really, really, really good book if you aren't stuck. Oh, fuck, there's no easy way of saying this. If you aren't stuck in your fucking closed minded ideology. Curious about that. What is it about, man? I'm c I, I hear I hear the title and I'm like, what the fuck could that be about? Um, I'm not deep enough into it yet. I'm only like the first, like maybe chapter into it. Mm -hmm. I just, I just got it. People just fucking came out on Tuesday. Okay. Give me a break. Um, so I'm not going to, I don't want to like it, like act like I know what it's about Mm -hmm. fully, Mm -hmm. but basically synopsis. it's about everything that's going on in the world right now, uh, about the pandemic, about, uh, basically the ideology of like the far, like the leftists and all that shit like that. Mm -hmm. And the liberals and how they're basically using, you said this dude's like down the middle, right? Or is he, yeah, he calls himself like an alt right or some shit like that. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I just like him because he, he doesn't like when I listen to Ben Shapiro, I don't really, he definitely leans right, but I don't hear him. Like he just calls everybody out. Like Mm -hmm. dude, he'll call it fucking Donald Trump for shit. He'll, he'll call out, when, when you know, I even, far right, I've, I've, I've even heard calling. him say good things about Donald Trump. So he sees the good no, no, and no, the yeah. bad in everybody. And everybody, yeah. He's That's kind cool. of like, he's basically like the. So Joe Rogan is the like the left. You know, like he's like the the the. the what is the word I'm trying to say here? Joe Rogan is a. Uh, what do you call that? When somebody's not crazy, like a reasonable. Like left he, he hears everybody's side. Of yeah, things. Joe Rogan's like he he's very like open to everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. input. Like yeah. him, like you put Ben Shapiro and Joe Rogan, which is this podcast is out. Ben Shapiro and Joe Rogan, listen to those two guys talk. I got ben, something like almost the middle of that one. Ben Shapiro is the only guy I've ever heard that can actually <clears throat> back Rogan into a corner. Really? Yeah, I fucking love it because Joe Rogan is usually one of those guys. I know I say uh, Joe Rogan does sound like a fucking brochure, but yeah. the guy does have a lot of knowledge. He does talk about a lot of, uh, you know, shit, and he knows he does do a lot of research, you can tell. And I think it's just the fact that he's had so many fucking people on his podcast that mm-hmm. he's he's taken in a lot of this shit over the years, which is crazy. This guy knows so much shit. That's just kind of, in my opinion now, proof that fucking marijuana doesn't kill your brain cells, mm-hmm. even though they say that that's been proven. But the guy's a fucking, does every drug possible, pretty much. Mm-hmm. He likes a party. He likes to smoke. He likes to drink. He likes to do everything. Mm-hmm. And the guy still 
retains all this shit. He does, dude. I notice that a lot listening to Rogan. Yeah. Like this guy. And I feel like he fucking knows everybody, dude. <laughs> I feel like he fucking knows everyone. I dude, listen to this guy, dude. And somebody will like fucking Bob Saget will mention somebody he knew back in the fucking 80s, dude. And Rogan's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I know that guy. Good guy. I'm like, dude, how the fuck does it? He, this guy is a fucking. I think the biggest problem that a lot of people don't understand with Joe Rogan is a lot of people because Joe Rogan is considered like woke and this and that. Like he's uh, I, I think a lot of people forget how old he actually is. Cause yeah, like I think so. Yeah, he's like fifty-two, I think. So, he's got a lot of life in him. Yeah, the guy's been around for a long time, so he a has lot of heard experiences. A lot. But the dude is, I, I do think that he is a he actually does care about Earth. He does care yeah. about the world. He yeah. cares about he cares about people more than anything. Mm-hmm. He's just he's a, he's a hippie. Yeah. So Ben Shapiro is the Joe Rogan of the right side. Okay. Okay. But Ben Shapiro is, I don't know how old Ben Shapiro is. He's younger. But this guy, when he talks, dude, he's just so fucking fast and so just smart. And when he, when he says shit, he's just, I don't even know how to explain it. Like he, it's not like he's just fucking pulling things out of his ass. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. Like I love listening to him like on like Bill Maher and stuff like that. Like, dude, the guy's a fucking nut and he pisses everybody off. How old is he? He's 36. 36 years old. So not crazy old. No. Um, what do they say he is? At 17, he became the youngest nationally syndicated co- uh, columnist in the United States. He writes columns for creators, syndicates the Newsweek, or syndicate in Newsweek, serves as an editor in chief of the Daily Wire, which he founded and hosts the Ben Shapiro show. Um, I would check out Ben Shapiro's show if you have it. Uh, he's really cool, and the dude is actually a Star Wars nut, which kind of that's that's nice. brought him to my attention as we we're talking about that's Star nice. Wars. But yeah, uh, listen to the Joe Rogan and the Ben Shapiro. Like, if you guys are actually like, if you like us, where you can shut off the fucking news and you can not pay attention to it, and you actually just, you know, you, 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 me and Holden, we see the, we see, we see one color in this world, and that's red, white, and blue. That, that's what everybody. If you're an American, that's all you are to us. Yeah. You know, so that's the way it should be for everybody. And if you, if you hear your outlook on life and the outlook on the world and outlook on people and everything is like that, and mm-hmm. It, it, he talks about coronavirus. He talks about it all. They cover all that stuff in this, but nice. like, just listen to it, dude. And that's, yeah. I, that's what I feel. Joe Rogan is Ben Shapiro. Like these guys, they, they, they see red, white, and blue and that's all that mm-hmm. matters. And mm-hmm. that's all that should matter. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, we're all Americans. Yeah. And that's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got to say that's, about that, dude. That's, <laughs> that's cool, man. That's why I like putting on, that's why I like putting on a fucking podcast. Like, well, that work. Like, that's why I like listening to those guys or. You know, I I put on cleared hot or something like that, and you really, like you said, you can shut off the fucking mm-hmm. news, just stop reading the bullshit, and you can hear everybody's side of shit, man. Yeah. You can if if they're pissed off about something, I'll fucking hear them out. Like fucking hear what they have to say. You know what I mean? Hey, it might be good. It might be something good. You know what I mean? Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. Well, hearing, so you might as well just listen to fucking everyone's side. Hearing long form and seeing. Long, like we talked about last time, nobody cares to actually get the full story of anything. Mm-hmm. Everybody just sees what goes on there. Oh, little, like the pornos? <laughs> yeah. The little <laughs> 10 second clips on fucking Instagram yeah. and shit. And people believe it, dude. And people post and jump on bandwagons. And yeah. like nobody actually knows. I guarantee you 80% of the fucking people that posted a black square even know they're posting a black oh, no, square for. Dude, no way. So that's the problem. They is, just fucking did it, man. It's just bandwagons, dude. It, it, it really is. Like they jump on the fucking social media bandwagon. They don't know what it is. They see everybody else doing it, and they and, just fucking do shit. That's and, yeah. And it's the younger, it's the younger generation, dude. That that does it. It really is. And they're gonna they're gonna get pissed off about that all they fucking want. But it's true, man. They fucking follow what everybody else is doing. And if you hear like younger younger you know members in our family. If their friend's not doing it, they're not going to do it. If yeah. they're not wearing this, they're not going to wear that. You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 fucking... And that's how it is, man. And that's all so- social media is. It's like one big fucking high school, pretty much. Yeah, it's like hearing, like, 10-year-olds and shit like that talk about, uh, you know, they're hating Trump or they're, <laughs> like, their political, their political outlooks. I'm like, you're fucking 10. Yeah. Yeah. You're 10 years old. Mm-hmm. Who cares? 
Go watch Star Wars. Fucking exactly. <laughs> watch a fucking cartoon or something. Like you're too go, young go to worry about else. that. It, you're it, too fucking young to worry. Live your life. Like and, enjoy your fucking childhood while you fucking can. And then you ask questions Seriously. like, "Well, where'd you get that from?" They see it on social media. So it's like, it, the, well, fucking, that's your first problem. It's just ruining brains. And man. Then you got for the older generation. I've like, had uh, fucking Bill Burr jokes around about it, but Bill Burr's probably got one of the best fucking pieces of advice right now. Is shut off CNN. Mm-hmm. Shut off Fox. Mm-hmm. Fucking put look on outside. the Moto GP. Look outside. <laughs> fucking fucking bird, dude. <laughs> fucking bird in his Moto GP. But let's fucking look outside. Life is beautiful, man. Yeah. I think I said that before. The world is a beautiful place. Appreciate the details. Like that's that's the problem, man. People need to put down their phones for a minute it, and just look up. Seriously. They just need to fucking they just need to look the fuck up. And nobody and, gets and breathe, dude. If you ever like look at like actual history too, this is all in like 30 to 40 year cycles. Mm-hmm. Everything is. Everybody acts like it's new. Nothing's mm-hmm. new, people. Yeah. Everything's been done. Yeah. Everybody's like <gasps> freaking out about shit, dude. It's like I don't think we've been around that long. Uh you know, it's it's uh basically why I don't think fucking aliens are here. Is because like we're just not fucking smart enough because we're still fucking falling for the same shit. Yeah, we're still doing the same fucking thing. Freaking that been out doing. over the same fucking bullshit, dude. It's so that's why I don't know. Even though the Pentagon did release, yeah, yeah, that they're gonna they're release gonna some shit. Releasing classified and supposedly it's not. It's not a hoax. It's not fake. They really did this. And let's like, fucking fuck, pray to God, dude. They're releasing it. <laughs> did you see? I thought about. I found this fucking perfect meme for the podcast the other day. It was like, <laughs> it was like a. I'm going to eat that ass tonight. It's like something's like get out the ranch dressing. It shows like the, it's like FBI agent. He's ripping his headphones off. Like you sick fucks. <laughs> that's pretty much us. It's like the fucking, that's, that's the 12th parsec podcast right there. Pretty much us, man. But yeah, I don't know. I fucking got a little bit of a rant there again. I'm sorry. But no, 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 no. It's true, man. It, it's, it's, it's just kids need a kids. Everybody adults. Everybody needs to fucking put their phone down. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off for an hour. Nobody does that anymore. You'll probably fucking actually realize you have a family in your fucking house that you can fucking pay attention to. Read a fucking get get the C three PO book. Read a fucking book about something that's not Trump or the fucking shit going on. Like, god damn it, dude. Yeah, we're all fucking we're all just fucking mere peasants and puppets and who cares anyway. I think that's why I really like that that fucking book, dude. I think that's why I like collecting Star Wars stuff. Yeah, I'm going back on this, guys. Because Fine. because it, it it separates your brain from the fucking bullshit going on, dude. That's like no matter how much you don't pay attention to it, it, there's no way escaping it, man. You hear somebody at work talking about it. You hear, you know, this on the radio or somebody something on the radio. You can't fucking escape it, dude. So it's nice to have that 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 shut off you know what i mean and like rehearsal is fucking awesome you know coming on here talking about shit like you're gonna have those you're gonna have those uh those uh separations you know what i mean Find i started listening to uh to get my mind off everything because even like <clears throat> pardon me uh, a lot of the podcasts and stuff are even kind of getting that way for like well especially rogan if you like rogan yeah. everything he's finally getting off the fucking bandwagon now yeah, that he's, he's bringing finally, on a lot now that he's finally more. realizing that everybody's just fucking nuts yeah. shit going on i started listening to dan carlin's uh extreme history or hardcore history uh-huh. dude that guy is it a podcast it's a podcast so you guys check it out if you haven't already i'm listening i'm listening to about the it's called like the kings of the kings or something like that they're talking about back when like all the kings ruled the lands and all that shit like that nice. and uh, the, like the gods and stuff like that and dude he literally, this is why I like him so much, is I understood 90% of what he's talking about mm-hmm. because he compared it to Star Wars. No shit. So he compared what? like these kings to Darth Vader versus like Palpatine. Really? And he's like, yeah, dude, I swear to God, the rebellion versus the Republic. Dude, that's cool. So like, he's like, this would be like I said before, he's like Darth Vader overtaking the, and I'm like, oh, cool. Dude, like, that yeah, makes I'm sense. definitely reading that. Dude, listening Listen, to that. So what like is it, it, what's it called? It's a Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Uh, okay. It's one of his old, old ones. He does them every so often. I found out about him through Elon Musk's page, um, but Put I think I'm pretty sure he's been on a shit ton of podcasts and stuff. But dude, check out, if you guys haven't already, check out Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Yeah. If you guys like hearing about history, which is the fucking world was built on history, 
just for everybody out there. You fucking tearing it down, you dumb fucks. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Sorry. History is important. <laughs> and you can see, like, just the, the, the cycle that we go through, the, the way we repeat everything, the way we keep on just fucking just doing the same shit over and over, just in different clothes. Yeah. But, uh, no, so he, he does it all the time. He'd be like, and basically the way I sum this up right here, he's like, and remember that one time when Darth Vader made Princess Leia watch him blow up her own planet? And I'm like, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I want to check that out. It, it's really cool. I want to check that out, dude. I like reading about history, <laughs> like shit like that. Yeah, that's why I watch fucking Game of Thrones with the wife. Dude, that's, that's a good, good show, man. True history. What? Game of Thrones? Could be. <laughs> Could be. I wasn't around then, so I don't know. Nobody Actually, he knows. talks he talks about that. Like, there was like a lot of like incest and shit that went on back then. Oh, yeah. And he said that like back then it was like a, it was a free for all throughout the camps for like uh, wives. Uh-huh. So like if you wanted to if you wanted to sleep with like this guy's wife right uh-huh. so if you wanted to like you know your buddy's got a fucking fine ass fucking piece of fucking meat in his tent you uh-huh. know you leave your arrow or your bow and arrow like outside of his tent and then he knew that you wanted to have sex with his wife oh fuck so he would have to he would go and give it to you and accept dude and he could just go in there and bang his wife real Jesus quick Jesus Christ imagine that yeah I guess that's one thing we haven't done well, fuck dude I, don't know, I guess there's still swingers out there but yeah. No, yeah, in Game of Thrones, dude, there's a lot of fucking in that show. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, dude. It's crazy, man. Like, the women were used for one thing, and that's one one thing only, Bubba. Fucking. Yeah. There's some there's some sister-brother action in there. Some Dude, there's, that, show's, that show gets a little, little that's intense. That's why all the girls right now listening are like, see? Yep, see? This is exactly why we go out and we protest, because, you know, you guys just think of us as fucking fuck tools. I don't know why my fucking boyfriend listens to these fucking assholes. <laughs> Assuming some girlfriend's boyfriend listens to us. Right? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. We're on fucking on one again today. It's the fucking this shit, dude. I finished mine, so. You finished yours? Yeah. I'm getting there. It's good stuff. It hey, is good. So we've been trying. We talked about uh, the. I'm going to give a little shout out here. Jocko Discipline. So Jocko, Jocko Willink. Willink. Yep. He's uh he's got a good podcast too. Check him out. Uh, But he just he came out with this whole line of his supplements and it's basically just cognitive support and stuff like that, which means that it's good. It's good juice for your brain is what that it's is. It's good and good for you. Uh, But he's got this one right here. This is what we're drinking. And this is we got the the, the discipline go. Jocko Discipline Go. In and liquid form. We got the liquid and we got the pills. The pills are amazing. If you guys got like, you know, you fucking, you got a big test tomorrow, you know, everybody's back in school. Not. Um, <laughs> I think that's canceled too, but that's good stuff. And then I've been taking this like crazy and it's been, it's been helping a lot. It's uh, called Jocko Cold War. And basically what this is, it's just got a bunch of like a uh, olive leaf extract, garlic extract, vitamin C, D3, zinc. It's got a bunch of stuff just to help keep your immune system strong. And we all know it's COVID season out there, folks. It is keep COVID your, season, uh, so you need to fucking make sure your you, immune keep your shit is strong, guys. Good. Lots of sleep. Work out. Work Do out. your cold war. Do your cold war. Check out his website. It's pretty cool. And don't it, wear it, fucking gloves. Don't wear gloves. You're just weakening your fucking immune system like the fucking <laughs> masks. God damn it. Yeah, You're just weakening your fucking self. You're gonna kill I'm, yourself. I'm so sick of the mask, but I'm I'm over it, dude. Like I just, and I I think I just caved. I don't know. I don't I don't fucking care anymore. Like, did you see um, Home Depot? I think Walmart, Target, and a couple other places just said they will no longer um be asking people to wear a, wear a mask in their store. They, they, there's gonna be signs posted to wear one. And if you don't have it, but on, they then. said they won't be in. Like for like forcing you to wear a mask if you don't want to. It's so it's so stupid. I'm so sick of it. I hate masks. Everybody knows how I feel about masks. I ranted about that for about six episodes straight. So stupid, dude. It's stupid, but like at this point, like, dude, just I'm just tired of hearing everybody bitch about it, man. Like I, I'm, I I'm know, literally man. I'm literally just wearing my mask because I'm fucking tired of people in the stores mean mugging you, and I'm tired. It's just like it's so f- I don't even know how to feel about it anymore. I think the honestly, dude, I think coronavirus is probably one of the biggest fucking conspiracy theories we've had <laughs> since nine eleven. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's it's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, dude. like I'm I'm sorry if people out there want to get mad about that, but there's some fucking shit going on behind the scenes here, guys. That nobody knows what the fuck is up right now. I will never know what's going on either. No. I think that, I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know what to think about it anymore. I know, dude. That's like, what I'm saying, dude. That's why I'm like, I don't know, man. They really have people's minds fucked up over this shit, dude. Yep. People are scared. People aren't scared. People don't know what to do. They're fucking shutting down, opening up, shutting down, opening. It's, people are 
Getting whiplash, man. Oh yeah, like now we have like a what? It's like a ninety nine like percent like survival rate. Mm-hmm. And then like they're saying that all these people have coronavirus, but then and they're like, dying. Like CDC just came out with this huge statement saying that they they made them like redo shit, and they're like, oh, just kidding. Yeah, we just went from a million to eleven thousand cases. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. It's like, it's just, everything's still like just false and these hospitals are fucking raking in the money and people are raking in their fucking paid time off. And, and that's the thing, man. People just want to see the, they want to see the bad. They want to see the bad of it. You know what I mean? They yeah. don't, they don't, they don't want to, they don't want to take a minute to look at like what it's not doing. They want to see the bad. They want to say, oh, there's fucking hospitals are filled. People are fucking dying from it still. Blah, blah, blah. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Like, that's what they want. That's what they fucking want us to do. Nobody's even reporting, like, the death tolls anymore because the death tolls are at at nothing. The death tolls are nothing right now. Yeah. I mean. But everybody's like, oh, it's still out there. They think the fucking virus is right out their fucking front door, dude. My wife, because she's a police officer, she said that, like, there's all kinds of people in her department that have it. And, like, I think really out of all of them, there's, like, maybe... I think she said it's like one of her friends and her husband, like she said that she's just been like in fever still. She's like, mm-hmm. it's been a couple of weeks and she said that it's like one of the worst things she's ever had. But everybody else like literally goes home with the cold, you know? Yeah. But like, I don't even know, like, I don't no, even I don't know, know if like that's fucking coronavirus anymore. Like, is it just people fucking or just she's just reporting? trying to get herself a fucking little vacation. And that's the biggest thing too, is everybody's. Like they're they're making all these companies, they're demanding all these companies to give people like two weeks off if they have the coronavirus to go home and quarantine and stuff like that. Yeah. So now everybody's just like, hey, give me the COVID. Hey, 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 hey I think I have the coronavirus. There's a guy on the fucking corner is like, hey, you want to get the COVID? <laughs> 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 fucking making money off. <laughs> dude, that sounds like a movie, dude. Can you imagine that shit, dude? That sounds like a fuck, dude. We should start writing a it's movie. Sick as it, like, it's so COVID nineteen. Another thing that's going on right now. It's really irritating me. In with a all these- world plagued <laughs> by COVID nineteen. <laughs> One oh, man. Fuck. I think it's fucking all this protesting shit going on. You got like all these big fucking things that everybody's getting mad at Disney and everybody's getting mad at the uh, all these TV channels and getting yeah. mad at Netflix. I'm like, guys, they're capitalizing on this as much as possible while it's they're here. Just making fucking money off of exactly. it. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. You're not gonna say anything <laughs> that's gonna change their fucking mind. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna say anything that's gonna change their mind. Mm-hmm. They're making money. They don't give a fuck. It's like you're they not going to not give a fuck. I'm sorry, but you're not going to fucking build. <sighs> OK, so here's how this they is. They didn't how. change Splash Mountain because they fucking care. They're changing it because it's going to make them fucking money. Not only that, but even the people that are, aren't even fucking supportive of shit or not are just fucking just, you know, they're pleading the fifth and everything are just like they're going to go check out the new fucking ride because Disneyland's getting exactly, a ride. dude. But like these shows are coming out. This is fucking the caper Nick dude or whatever like that. Yeah. Everybody's like, Oh, he's racist. Disney supporting him. Blah, blah, blah. Boycott Disney. It's like this cancel culture is so fucking ridiculous right now. And everybody actually thinks that like these TV stations and these, these, these big companies care. They don't they care. Don't give a They're shit. capitalizing on everything that's fucking coming it's out right now. It's their business. It's their company. It's a fucking, it's a Goliath of a fucking company. They don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, but like you're not. You you, say you build an arcade in your fucking garage, okay? You build. You're building these fucking cool arcades, and somebody says, "Uh, "Are we good?" It's your camera again. It's again, dude. I don't know what's going on with it. (laughs) That's right. That's gonna be fun, huh? (laughs) Uh, So, anyways, it's like say you build. You're building arcades in your garage, or you're building tables. All right, you're building tables, for instance. Uh, You're doing a certain thing with these, and then people are like, "Hey, you know." That's a really nice table. I'm going to give you $500 for it. You're not going to be like, oh, you know, um, I don't think I'm going to just do that because that's not what I'm about. I'm about just, you know, I wanted to build one. Like, you're going to capitalize on that shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was quick. 500 bucks. Cool. And then some other guy's like, oh, you know, then you, you start upcharging. Then you start doing this. It works the same way. So everything they're doing right now is they're just they're, they're making money. Yeah. They see something that's going on. Yeah. And usually pandemics and stuff like this is when stuff goes on the most. Yeah. And then that's when they fucking boom profits. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. People are saying that's why this pandemic happened for everybody to make more money off of shit. But yeah. I don't know, dude. Uh, I, don't, I, I really don't know. I don't know. Fucking housing still going crazy. Yeah. Still building apartments like crazy. Well, Thursday still- we find out if we go back to phase one, Las Vegas. So. Oh, that's just our dumbass fucking governor. We'll see what the fuck is up. Our governor here likes to do everything California does. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but there's a lot of big people leaving California right now. Yeah, <laughs> there is. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I never thought Joe Rogan would leave California. 
Elon said he's pulling all of his shit out of there too. That's nuts, dude. So get out of there. Get the fuck SpaceX out of there. SpaceX too. I well, I think one of his big big things is in one of his big hubs is in, in Texas already, oh, okay. so it makes sense. Texas is a cool place. I like Texas. Beautiful place. Yeah, it is beautiful. Very I think beautiful. like I'd live there. Yeah, if we ever left like me and the wife talked about it, like in like you know, five to ten years, something like that, maybe relocate and we want to go down there somewhere in Texas or yeah. maybe go down to uh Georgia. Georgia? Georgia Georgia is beautiful. Nice. Georgia dude. is beautiful. That's a Georgia beautiful very, fucking very, place. Very, very, very. Only yeah, on the twelfth part can we go for such a heated conversation to beautiful Georgia. Tennessee's nice. You you Georgia slow it down, man. You Georgia has it down. Georgia has like a lot of crime though, don't they? Doesn't everywhere have a lot of crime now? It doesn't, dude. Right now, especially the fuck doesn't, man. That's true. Go to go to go to Canada if you don't want anything fucking happening to you. Yeah, they're nice there. I right hear. I just wish that we could. They're apologetic. I remember, like, oh, fuck, dude. I wish we could all like just fucking spread hugs. No. <laughs> wish everybody can get along a little bit better. You can't. I fucking get a social distance. So stupid, dude. Fucking Christ. I think that's what fucking caused you see, everything. see, man? You see how that works? You guys remember that none of this shit happened. We shook hands. You see how that works, dude? <laughs> like fucking shit. Every, people are losing their fucking minds, dude. Bashing each other's fucking skulls in. <laughs> hey, let's just hug it out. Can't. Got a social distance. Oh, but you can fucking punch that guy in the face, can't you? What the fuck? How does that work? It's fucking. It's God like, damn it, dude. They're curb stomping in like groups of 30. God damn it, dude. They're all fucking hanging on to each other, curb stomping one fucking sorry bastard. What the fuck happened, man? <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know, dude, but I'm oh, excited. Oh, my God. Uh, so basically, here's what I'm excited for. Because, you know, we had like we had escape <sighs> from New York. Escape from LA. Oh yeah. Well, dude, it's Kurt Russell. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna be like escape, escape from planet Earth? Escape from the U.S. No, Earth. It's gonna be Earth. Uh, the whole entire uh, Earth is fucked. Yeah, right now. that's true. Like, dude. Fuck, dude. I just wish we could go back to like global warming. Remember when everybody cried about global warming? Uh huh. And the ozone. Oh, what, what, what was the? Uh, who was it that had it written or whatever? The mine, the mines or whatever. Right, yeah. they had it written that it was supposed to end in 2012. Yeah, it was going to end in 2012. I watched it was a simple times. Dude. I watched that movie the other night, 2012. Uh-huh. It took him like seven years to make that movie. Right, it was supposed to be like state of the art CGI. It is the worst, Shit. worst fucking <laughs> movie I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my dude, god, Jar-Jar dude! Jar Jar Binks looks like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> CGI God compared Dude this limousine Scene looks so Fucking bad dude it's Oh like, they're like Going over the cracks And shit It reminded me of Playing uh Do you remember Like the driver games Uh huh Back when Playstation First came out Yeah yeah It was like the little Boxy square limousines <laughs> So bad. And they just thought that shit. Like, dude, when it came out, these people were like, "Whoa, dude, that's fucking sick!" People lined up for that shit. <laughs> I think it was another one, Avatar. Oh is what I was God, watching dude. too. Like, yeah, the CGI. CGI in that. is so bad. Oh my God, I watch oh. Avatar every night when I fall asleep. Ask my wife. I'm gonna grab Poor a beer. Thing. You want one? Poor thing. Yeah, I'll take one. Dude, fucking. Oh my god, dude! It's funny to think <laughs> to 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 look back on the fucking old CGI like that, dude, or even cartoons like. Like oh five oh six like I was I put on Madagascar the other day with the wife. It's terrible, dude. Like in com- in comparison to cartoons now, it's shit, man. No, I agree. And then like the so, I don't know when cartoons got to be like uh make them as real as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what they're. Whoa, that was loud. I am very sorry, everybody. Yeah, that was a loud, dude. <laughs> uh, dude. I was asking if you know how to suppress that fucker, dude. Huh? No suppressors are illegal. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, actually, Trumpy Wimpy is trying to uh, make them not illegal anymore. I heard, anyways. Oh Jesus Christ, dude! I heard. Are you, I'm not ready for that fucking that fucking. Sorry, I don't even call it a riot. A, a protest. I'm not ready for that protest. I'll get one, just to fucking grind some gears. What were you saying though? We were talking about CG, bad CGI. Oh, cartoons. Back in the day, cartoons were fun. Yeah. You know, Bugs Bunny, all that stuff, even though they took all the guns from him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cartoons were fun. And then, like, they got to this really weird phase where they just wanted to make everything as real as possible. Mm-hmm. And then it got weird. They got really bad then. Was, that was like Madagascar, all that shit. That's like, when they started there. trying to make them, like, more real. DreamWorks then, got a hold of it. And then they tried making them really fake again. Uh, what was that? What was that movie with the cow? <sighs> I don't remember. The cow. Uh, the Barnyard. Yeah. The Barnyard. 
like right around there. And then, and then Pixar started picking up a lot more. Yeah. Monsters Inc. All that. Well, stuff. Pixar's always kind of been like they. They've been solid, man. They've been solid. They've Wally's never- fucking incredible, dude. I watched that the other night. I watched Wally and like so. I this is the first time because this is the first time I actually like watched it. Now that I'm, I watched it like when it first came out, and then I put it on the other night, and I was like, hey, I haven't seen this in forever. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Wally. Wally is so close to being real that like I think they actually use real actors in scenes. They do. They do. So that's that's actual actors, right? Yeah, they do. Okay. There's like this scene where they're he's looking at like the TV because the world's all fucking torn apart. Yeah. <clears throat> Cut two years from now, um, <laughs> and uh, he's like looking at a screen. Escape of from the- Planet Earth. <laughs> Elon Musk and Kurt Russell team up, <laughs> dude. Uh, actually, I seen a picture of like the fucking shit. Real quick, a side note here. I seen like pictures of everything going on in Portland, mm-hmm. and they're like they're throwing trash fucking everywhere, just yeah. emptying trash cans, trash bins, fucking everywhere on over all over the streets. Right. It looks like Wally. And then I watch Wally and that's exactly how it fucking looks, dude. I'm like, everybody needs to, everybody, everybody fucking needs to sit, take a minute, take your gas mask off, whatever the fuck you're doing, wherever you are. If you have a fucking AirPod in by chance and you just happen to listen to the 12 parsec, watch Wally. That's where we're fucking headed. You fucks. Anyways, he w- looks at the TV screen and the people in this TV screen are real. And yeah. like, dude, that was crazy, man. I was like, holy shit. That, when did Wally come out? Fucking 2000, 2008? Yeah. Somewhere around there? I yeah. could be way off on that. But, dude, that was like fucking state of the art, man. They Like putting actual real fucking people in a cartoon, dude. Flawlessly, too. Yeah, so that was like the first time I, I, was, I, was, I was saying I watched it. I was like, wow, this looks so fucking real that these people look real. And then mm-hmm. I'm like. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm like sitting in bed. They're fucking real. Fucking just like, I'm like, is, is my CBD's getting to me or is that a real fucking person? Yeah. I'm like, look, I'm like going back. I'm like, that's a real fucking uh-huh. guy. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh yeah. shit, is Wally real? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I'm like, wow, that was, that was cool. I think that's really cool that they did that, dude. Cause so, there's not a lot of cartoons that they really did that. But like and I always said, now that they just do live action. The world's always said. Well, not the world. People have always said that movies prepare everybody for the future. Yeah. Somehow, yeah. somehow, everybody fucking knows what's going on before it actually goes on. But like, dude, come on, man, come on, come on, e. <laughs> come on, Bob Lazar. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. If you guys fucking uh, watch uh, all this uh, shit, uh, what's that? What's that movie? The oh. Fourth Kind. The fourth kind. Our is Close that? Encounters of a Fourth Kind. Close right? Encounters of the Fourth Kind. Yeah. Our Third Kind, something like that. Third, yeah, whatever it is. That was the dude from uh, Jaws. Good fucking movie right there, man. That is a classic. That is a very, very classic movie. That's a fucking good movie, dude. Listen I to like that. that movie. Like, watch that. Watch Just watch a bunch of these. The movie actually really out. tripped me out, man. Dude, I, I, even even with how old it is, the movie really tripped me out. I keep bringing it up, but like Escape from New York. Listen to the, listen to the first three minutes of that movie, guys. Listen mm. to the first three minutes of that movie. And basically what it is, it's, it's about eerie. like the... It's about like the crime rate due to a civil war, pretty much. Mm-hmm. That gets so high that everybody else in the world is just like, "Hey, fuck these guys. We're gonna put them on an island." Yeah, you know. And then that that island is where everybody can just go do whatever the fuck they want. There's no uh-huh. there's no laws there. Yeah. And that's dude. That was what in the eighties, man. Come on. Yeah. I don't Come know. Come on. Man. I don't know where we're heading. <laughs> where we're heading, dude. It's. I don't know, bro. It's scary. I, I kind of feel like even like. This is. I don't sound necessarily stupid. think it's scary, but it's just like, what the fuck? Tron. I personally think that Disney's always been really good. Tron, in my opinion, uh, is living in the digital world. Is what the whole entire movie was about. And look at us now. We're all yeah. living in the digital yeah. world with 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 VR and everything, man. It's Tron and what's that movie? Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Yeah, that's a good one though, because that's going to get us ready for something fun. <laughs> Who's ready to have <laughs> sex with the fucking suit? Who's ready to get it spoiled? <laughs> Anyways, uh, dude, it's fuck. Hour and eight minutes, my dude. God damn. I guess it's uh, uh, you want to do today in history, and we'll get the fuck out of uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's do that. History. We're trying to remember these segments, people. We're sorry. My, oh my, man, my wife's probably waiting for waiting to eat dinner. Oh shit, you didn't eat yet. Portacita. No, Portacita. I didn't eat yet. Chicken's getting cold. Uh, 
Oh, we're getting it, people. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We gotta get the screen recording up here. Oh man, I'm glad we finally got it. Like, did we really open up on Star Wars? That was fun. It was oh, a good podcast. My goodness, come on, come on, don't do this to me. Uh oh, I just want to eat. Here. I just want to eat. Please don't do this to me. Oh, it's because you're supposed to pull up your thing first. See. Yeah, you got to have that run, and then you can pull it up. I like how we still got Nikki Brady up there. <laughs> I don't know. It pulls up every time. I don't know why. All right. Mm, should be screen recording here. There we are. You good? There we are. What's that? If you're over 40, this game is must. Avoid grammar with fucking apps. All right. Look, people, if you don't know the difference between your, your, and your, today, then you're a fucking idiot. History. All right. Today in history. Go ahead. Uh, 19, 1890 today, July 27th, uh, Van Gogh's suicide. I did not know he committed suicide. Dude, check this shit out. Why do we always fucking do this? Look at the second one. Whoa. 1940, Bugs, Bugs Bunny. Bunny debuts. Yep. Bugs Bunny debuts. We we're just talking about. Uh, 1996, the year before, year before I was born, Atlanta Olympics bombing. Wow. Wow. I did not know that happened. I didn't know that either. All and right, guys. There you go. Your seized, whatever that is. 1890, Van Gogh committed suicide. 1940, Bugs Bunny debuted. And in 1996 was the Atlantic Atlanta Olympic bombing. What is today even, dude? Today? Today? Today's July, July 27th. 27th. I said it. There you go. You got it. July 27th. Do you not listen to me? You don't listen to me, do you? I was so excited about Bugs Bunny. I'm sorry. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Oh, shit. This has been a fun podcast. I hope that uh, we didn't bore you guys too much with all that Star Wars talk. Yeah, whoever stuck with us to that segment, <laughs> salute you. But anyways, just uh, I say this every time, but fucking be kind. Show some love. Yeah. Be nice to everybody. We're all in this together, people, at the end of the day. So uh, hug your loved ones, guys. Hug your loved ones. Shit happens too fucking fast. Or just fucking be nice to people at the grocery store. <laughs> I know we can't I, say hi because nobody can see if you're fucking smiling anymore thanks to these masks. Nah, that'll probably never happen. Anyways, cheers. Love you guys. Cheers, you fuckers. <laughs>